Good morning, Britain. The government is bracing itself for swift retaliation from Moscow after Theresa May ordered the expulsion of 23 Russian spies. In response to the Salisbury spy poisoning, British troops are to be vaccinated against anthrax. An international study of bottled water has found nearly all of the samples tested contained tiny plastic particles. And is the use of phrases such as pig out and porker offensive to pigs? Or is someone just telling porkers? We'll find out in 20 minutes. Thursday, 15th of March, 2018. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Kate Garraway. Good morning, just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. We are triumphant this morning, we aren't are. we, Susanna Reid? We are champions. We are champions. It's unlike anyone sitting in this seat to show off, but <laughs> uh, we have reason to this Winners. morning. <laughs> Winners of the ultimate news quiz. Now, the sad thing about this is no one at this desk is responsible <laughs> for Say the triumph that. last night at the ultimate news quiz. But we do have people in the gallery who were part of the team. Uh, one of our directors, Erin, and Neil, our editor, and Anne, and our political producer. Sally. Sally, Sally what's oh, the token? Really? And then that. someone else there in yeah. the background oh. um, apparently knew some of the answers. Oh, there he is, making sure he's more in the foreground in that one. Piers Morgan. <laughs> Pulling yeah. focus there on a Thursday, as ever. And we, we were very close, weren't we? It was uh, Newsnight and us sort of joint first, so they actually, how did they actually decide it, Susanna? Well, they were, so so it's, the, it's the title that is fought amongst by all the news yes. organisations in the UK. It's mm. one of the most fiercely contested trophies in journalism. <laughs> and there we were, Good Morning Britain, on a knife edge with Newsnight, joint tied at the top. Yeah. So which critical news question mm. was going to decide who actually won. It was, in fact, heads or tails. Yeah, it was a coin because toss. Because they tossed a coin. So, <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's how Newsnight lost out on this trophy, and we won it. So, um, the news gods were on our side, that's all I can say. But we had got there two joint first with brilliance and brains. Yeah, but to then a coin toss decided it. So, um, sorry about Don't that. And well done, everybody who took part. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> um, now, the news this morning that this pig farmer has written to the Oxford English Dictionary <laughs> saying that he wants unfair pig-related terms removed from the dictionary or redefined. Mm. So, you can no longer call me a porker, Kate. No, and I, well, I, never, I would never dare, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but I mean, we'll have less reason to know. You can't pig <clears throat> out. Nope. You can't, you know, you can't make anything related to pig. You can't eat to like a pig. You can't eat like because a pig. Because it's too offensive to these little piglets. It's too offensive to little piggies because they are not fat. The irony, he argues, is, is as we as a nation have got bigger and fatter, pigs have actually got leaner because they're not so. fed on the stuff. So don't call those little piggies porkers. They no. don't have an obesity crisis, do they? They do no. not have an obesity no. crisis. And I think the point is, is maybe people aren't eating as much pork mm. Mm. as they would like so he's quite a clever pig fatty. farmer because he's managed to get himself into the headlines this morning maybe we should <laughs> eat more pork which is awkward if you're vegetarian or vegan. Um, so let's have a look at the weather this <laughs> morning. bacon sandwich. <laughs> or anything Sorry. else that might rule that out. <laughs> rule obviously, that out. There plenty of people don't eat pork. No. Um, but this farmer is obviously trying to swim against the tide. And say... And, uh, and get everybody who might eat pork to eat a little bit more. So do you think, do you think that we should stop? We should, we're being unfair to pigs by saying it. That's the question we're asking this morning. It's it, not it, the only the question people... we're asking, by the way. That's not how we won the ultimate news win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking if it's offensive to say porker because it's offensive to pigs. <laughs> we do have other news in the show. And we have the weather as well. Yeah, we do. Yeah, not telling porkers on that one. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, hello, good morning. Uh, it is a fairly wet start to the day. We've seen a fair bit of rain coming through overnight. This will start to clear away, but unfortunately we'll see another band moving in. And just a heads up, really, as we head towards the end of this week, creeping into the weekend. Yes, you may have heard the Beast from the East Part 2 uh, is going to be with us from Friday into Saturday and also on Sunday. And the Met Office have started to issue yellow warnings out towards eastern and southeastern parts for some snow. We're not expecting it to be as widespread as it was uh, a couple of weeks ago so i'll keep you posted on all of this as we head through the program and what's the reason for it coming back mm. at this time of year i mean just just uh, the weather gods so, i know but uh, so basically the the jet stream at the moment is way south 
Um, so it's allowing all the cold air to come down from, you know, from, from the Arctic still. So we're going to get another blast of weather. Mm -hmm. What we really need is the jet stream to start moving further north as it does so in the summertime, which is when we start to pull up that warmer air from the near continent. So, okay. mm. All right. Yeah. But elusive at the moment. Yes, yes. Uh, okay.